Hello folks and welcome to uh, Linux for Seniors. Actually Linux for everyone. So today I'm going to be talking about calendars. Um, one large calendar that um, you can install and I'll show you what's built into the uh, MX XFCE platform. <clears throat> Before I get going I just want to make brief mention if you've never heard of my channel just uh, that none of my videos are uh, under two minutes. Uh, so I'm just going to grab, I'll just do it this way. So let me stress that out a little bit. So anyways, um, I started this channel on February 9th. Uh, my previous channel, I had over 450 videos, just to let you know. So Linux for Seniors, what I created with my intent of making simple videos. And uh, Linux is definitely for any age, but... Uh, I generated this toward the senior community. Um, so basically, I'm explaining these videos probably in a, some people would call it probably a lengthy tone. In other words, I'm going to try to explain things. Uh, and that's why these videos are a lot longer than some if you find those on the internet. Uh, you'll also find that I do things uh, slightly different than maybe some other folks out there. Everybody has a different way of doing things. so. Um, I keep mentioning that um, a lot of people always think of, well, it's better to do it this way or that way. You know what? There is better ways to do anything, but uh, I'm just going to show you some of my tips. So I have been around Linux for over 25 years. So I've seen lots of distributions. I've seen lots of uh, things and uh, I've also created videos with some unique um, perspectives. Let's put it that way. If you do become a subscriber, which I highly encourage that you do, you can start and stop these videos at any time. Return tomorrow, next day, or following week to pick up where you left off. That's the benefit of that. I also recommend that you watch my videos on a large screen, if all possible. Since your mobile device screens, um, I'll just use one example, like a cell phone. These screens are too small for most of the viewing if you're viewing text. Now if you're using a standard web browser it's kind of nice. I'll show you a hidden little trick you can do with your Firefox. Hold down your control key and scroll up to enlarge the text and then scroll back using your computer mouse as an example. That's too small. So I'll scroll back out. Anyways, um, and then that feature also work in, in your file manager if you haven't tried it yet. Um, you can watch my other videos. I do have, I do believe I have a video on the uh, MX um, XFCE file manager. Um, but anyways, let's move on. So I have some extra links for you. If you are interested in uh, mouse pointers like this, you can go to gnome-look.org. You can watch practically any video that I have for any XFCE distribution on how to install these. I can usually install these in a couple seconds and I usually do them in bulk and I use the file managers for actually installing that and not any of the other submenus to be honest with you. It's just my way as one would put it. If you're interested in different uh, Linux distributions you may want to check out distrowatch.com. Um, new subscribers may miss this if they're using a standard web browser and there are little links up here. There's only five of them. That one goes to DistroWatch, for instance, and that little foot uh, goes to gnome-look.org. Okay, so I have some additional links, and this is just the limitation with uh, YouTube that I can't uh, put more links in here. I don't believe these are available on your mobile devices, and neither is this little magnifying glass. This magnifying glass can be found in all of the tabs in here. You just click that. Uh, while I'm in the video section, you can, you can scroll. My video library is a uh, little over 30 videos currently. That's not too bad for somebody starting this on the 9th. Again, my previous project was over 450. Uh, with that said, if you're using a standard web browser, you can use this magnifying glass to do searches. One example is like mouse, like computer mouse. And it starts finding videos on anything with the word mouse in it. Here's one for MX, and that's how you can install these mouse pointers. Uh, here's Pop OS, Linux Mint, Gen 2, and so forth and so on. It's just looking for keywords. 
on your mobile applications this is and over here on your desktop this searches all of YouTube this only searches my videos all of my videos are keyword indexed that means that you can put in a keyword to look through my library the growing library okay I sometimes post stuff in the community tab so some of you folks may have fun with your cell phones right now I'll make the screen a little bit bigger and uh, you can scan that on um, basically open up your smartphone I'll give you just one example like an iPhone for instance open up your camera and point your camera at this thing you should have a yellow box pop up on your screen which you can click and that'll actually take you directly to this YouTube site and you can bookmark it and share it with your friends and family now Linux for seniors now just because you're not a senior <laughs> that doesn't mean you can't watch these videos because again Linux is for any age uh, anyways I am going to get going now and close that and talk about calendars today so um, this is the latest version of MX so I can uh, open up terminal just for a second to let you uh, see uh, NeoFetch um, that command is just uh, what's in the box is what I call it what am I operating with and it's you can see the MX logo right through these characters so again this is MX the 64-bit version of the XFCE desktop and don't read too much into what I have for hardware and uh, a lot of RAM you don't need all this horsepower but I all of my computers I do other stuff so they're loaded with RAM and and sometimes high definition graphic cards but we're just gonna focus in on this part so this is MX the XFCE desktop okay so far so good hopefully now I have an enormous size mouse pointer if you're absolutely curious about that again if you saw what I did earlier you can go look for that video so we have a little tiny calendar down here that you may be aware of we also have another one if you go to the MX application menu and you type in calendar and it's called orange orange calendar um, that one you can plug in events you can also resize this thing um, example of that okay you have some uh, different setups in here and uh, by the way I'm using the standard uh, theme for MX a lot of you folks may want to um, look into the theme of uh, like a lighter theme instead of a darker theme you know you can al always do that if you go into your settings and go check out the appearance section I may do a video on that uh, a little bit later to fully explain that but this is orange so um, that's another calendar that you should already have installed for the XFCE environment now I'm going to show you another one that uh, may be appealing for seniors and maybe not but I'll show it anyways so you have to install it and I'll show you where to get it it's called K organizer it looks like this you can also make these bigger and resize these on the fly right I'm just right clicking on the panel bar and then you can resize it this way or you can just go you know whatever size you want or go full screen so I'll go full screen here so um, this may be too busy for some folks but I, I don't want you to focus in on every setting unless you want to but I'm just going to show you some simple stuff okay so I'm going to resize that to something that's uh, well resize mode the only thing when you're adding events in here you add an event or just double click on things just make sure that that's clicked otherwise it doesn't display okay so I'm gonna close that little box so that's the my tip of the day for this calendar let's make sure that's active so that way you can put it in, in events now you noticed I have one event that goes for three days it says subscribe to Linux for seniors it's good advice <laughs> I have extra videos for you now this wash car event I want you to notice when I actually change the calendar to different calendars that that wash car appears monthly all right I'm just throwing out how you can do different events okay so you can of course resize this to your heart's content so as as the more um, the larger you bring it the more little icons come on this little panel and they're highly configurable you can do all kinds of things with the views in here and also um, you have settings you can configure your 
calendar. So if you get uh, lost in the weeds, as one would say, I'm, I'm clicking through like, let's say I'm in May and I wanna go back to today, it's that simple. Adding any events, I'll just pick up this March 1 and I'll click on, double click on it and that's uh, an event. It's gonna go to your personal calendar and that's what we got clicked on. So the title bar, you can put in a title, you can also put text in here too. Uh, most people just use the title in here. So um, pay rent or house payment. Spelling doesn't count. Uh, so if you misspell stuff, no big deal. Now, if you are to generate one of those on the first, let's say your rent is due on the first or your mortgage or whatever it might be, and uh, you want to have this displayed monthly, then go to the uh, uh, reoccurrence and say monthly, and then just hit OK. Now it says pay rent or house payment, and now this is monthly. Okay, there's March 1, there is uh, April 1, it's just the occurrence. So you can do a lot of different ways of, of adding uh, vents in here, as I did with the wash car business. You can also do multiple days, I mean, uh, multiple events in the same day. You can also do time events, uh, timed events. If it's not all day, then it becomes a timed event. Like uh, I got a, a doctor's appointment from this to this, for instance. Um, so basically, I'm just going to try to present this in a um, simple manner. So you have the occurrence of like yearly. So if I were to do, um, let's find a date. So I'm just going to say no, or should I say yes or cancel? Do you really want to cancel? Yes. Okay. So let's say we have um, on the 14th of February, you have a love member or a friend that's that's birth, somebody's birthday. Let's put it that way. So um, let's say it's Bob's birthday. I'm just doing a simple one here. So it's an all day event, obviously, for Bob and you. So the reoccurrence for Bob's birthday is more than likely going to be yearly, right? There you go. So now you can have somebody's birthday in your calendar. So Bob birthday, Bob's birthday. Can we edit that? Sure. So we go back in here and put Bob's birthday. Spelling doesn't count. I hit apply and OK. All right, so I go with um, the next year. Next year on in February. 2024. It's Bob's birthday, February 2024. Why, why is the car wash still here? Because I told it to uh, have reoccurrences every month forever. The same thing goes with the, um, the rent or the uh, mortgage payment. I also want you to notice when I click the event, it populates in here. It says pay rent or house payment, personal calendar, personal calendar, duration one day. So you got some uh, info stuff in here at the same time. I can also blow it up full screen. And when you do that, you'll get some extra dates in here. All right, so what happens if I get lost in the weeds and I wanna go back uh, to today? And just click that, it's right here. Now I'm back to today. I'm filming this on the 22nd of February, 2023. So you can see Bob's birthday is gonna be repeated annually. You can see where it actually says the last line reoccurs yearly on February 14th. So you can add events going spanning a couple of three days, in my case. Subscribe to Linux for Seniors. So you can minimize it. A little hidden trick, double click on this line to maximize it. And it goes back to the resized box. And you can make this pretty much any size you want. Okay. Of course, it cuts out a lot of the information here, but you can always go maximum size. Now, where do I get that calendar? Again, what is it called again? K Organizer. So let's go to the MX Package Installer and put in your password. 
And what you're going to do is look for K organizer. That probably is good enough. And then go to enable repos and allow it to do its thing. And there is K organizer. Mine's installed, that's why it has a check mark. So there's a calendar and personal organizer, K organizer. You just click it and install it. Okay. Nothing is perfect, but again, I just put that up there. So one more time, I have an actual web-based icon I created. Um, if you watch my other videos, there, I actually posted that. So I would hit subscribe. And if you're looking for videos on MX, just type in MX and it's going to start finding videos. This is how you can install this mouse pointer. There's some information about your Thunar file manager. There's some information on MX about your panel bar and menu. There's the benefit of using that search feature. So subscribe. Anyways, folks, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.